Well, good evening, everyone. I just wanted to make a quick video demonstrating how you can force carbonate your own homebrewed beverage in one gallon pieces. All you really need to have is a one gallon mini keg, the ball lock here, and this has got a gas out, liquid out, or gas in, liquid in, however you set it up. You need a tap handle, and you need a regulator, a little miniature regulator. This is a 30 PSI regulator with a 16 gram CO2 cartridge connector. Uh, very easy to use, very straightforward, and you need some connections here. Um, these are Cornelius Keg quick disconnects with threading on each one of these. Um, all you need to do is first swap the black, um, which is generally meant for liquids, swap the black connector with the gray in the regulator, take it out, connect it to the liquid. All you need to do is, once you've got it connected, make sure you have a fresh cartridge. Give it a crank, crank it all the way up to 30 PSI. It'll generally um, start at 30, go back to about 25. You'll hear it bubbling, it'll make a beautiful noise. Um, once you have that piece uh, set up, throw this bad boy in the fridge, let it sit overnight. It should stay right around the 25 PSI mark. You'll see it hovering around there. If you give it a shake, it'll, you'll watch the regulator needle uh, go down, go up, but it'll regulate itself, which is nice. Then after it's been in the fridge for about a day, sat at 25 PSI, all you need to do is um, take it from the liquid piece that you've got it connected. Um, well, well, first, um, disconnect it, reconnect your pieces, swap these back out to where it's um, uh, gray with the uh, regulator and then black with um, your dispenser. But yeah, swap them out and then all you need to do is give it a little bit of a breathing, bleed it out, bleed all the excess CO2 out. You'll have a lot of it after it sits for about uh, 24 hours or so. Then, once you've got it all bled completely, make sure your regulator is off first. Completely bled, give it a crank back up to whatever your PSI is that you want it to go at. I'm, I'm normally setting mine at like five. Um, but yeah, once it's, once it's set, you're ready to go. Then you can get it positioned. Um, unfortunately, I can't do it because I've got one hand holding the camera, but I'm gonna position it and show you that indeed, it goes right into there after about a day and you've got delicious force carbonated homebrew beer. Pretty easy to do and very straightforward to force carbonate and very straightforward to serve. Serving at about 5 PSI. So get one of these setups. This cost I'd say about $150 to $200 combined. Um, but once you get that bad boy, you get your own homebrew beverage to your liking. Absolutely good. Have a good evening.